Welcome back everyone. Today I am bringing you another Robo review. This time on a gaming keyboard by Wink Eyes. This is the Sades Blade Mail gaming keyboard. It's your uh, colorful LED USB um, keyboard. So right off the bat um, I'm gonna let you know it is made out of metal. The frame is a metal frame keyboard, so it has some weight to it. Um, I like this because you know your keyboard is not gonna you know move around, and it definitely gives it a um, higher quality feeling to it. Just uh, you know when your keyboard is just it, it, it's just really well constructed. Let's just say that. So. First impressions, um, upon plugging it in, well actually upon opening it up, uh, I have it plugged in right now so I'm not going to show you the other end of the cable, but it has a braided cord to it, which uh, it's got like a blue and black pattern. Um, I kind of like this. It's um, it's definitely, the braided cables will definitely save on a possible frayed cable or crimping it. Um, and it gives them more of a, a higher quality feeling as well. I, I do like that. Uh, the other thing I'm going to make mention is this has the look of a mechanical keyboard uh, with kind of the raised keys. Um, they don't actually, uh, if you can see, the keys are all kind of raised right off of the board. They don't go into like a plastic frame so it kind of looks like the mechanical keyboards do um, they even give you extra keys to replace um, your arrow keys if you want to make them orange as well as your WASD keys um, more than likely this is probably what I'm going to do I am going to replace the WASD keys with the orange ones I'm going to show you quickly how to do that um, so let's throw, let's find the W key. So you do need a key puller. Uh, this did not come with one. At least I did not see one in the box. I happen to have one here. So you just need one of these pullers. You grip the key and you pull right off. So once you do that, you can put the new key in its place and it will clip right down. So that's kind of useful um, if you want to have your your directional controls for your, your first person shooters a different color so you don't lose your place uh, you always know where they're at just with a quick, quick glance you don't know, have to like look under your fingers to see what key is actually there you can be like oh there's your four orange keys so that's where you know I need to put my fingers to to play my you know first person shooter or various other games so that's um that's kind of cool I like that they um, gave you extra keys for that I kind of uh, I'm surprised I'm gonna have to look again uh, I would be very surprised if they did not include one of these in the box but um, I did not see one so maybe mine just did not come with it um, so anyhow the I do like the color of the keyboard um, if you see it's it is backlit the keys all have a um, various different colors. It kind of goes like a rainbow effect from the left to the right. Um, starts with blue and ends up with green on the other side. You can, if, if for some reason you did not want the colors, you could simply turn it off. You just uh, hold the FN key, and hit the escape key, and it will actually kick it on to a different mode. Uh, so instead of it being on all the time, now it's pulsating. So hit it again, turns it off. Hit it one more time, and it turns it permanently on. So if I hit it again, it will go into that pulsing mode. It's it's kind of neat. Um, I like it without always being lit. It's the backlighting isn't as bright as I might have liked. Um, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's I guess you don't want to keep yourself up at night, and if you have this keyboard in your room, it's just a nice um, glow to it without you know being super bright. So. Yeah, it's um, it's not too bad. the The keys themselves all have a smooth feel to them. Um, I like that. The and they all have a nice, you know, it, like I said, it's not a mechanical keyboard. 
but they it, it kind of slopes inward and slopes out, which kind of you know helps with it. It, that's more for the gamers because you know yeah you have your you position your hand in the middle and you want your when you drag your fingers down to be able to hit that and kind of grip onto that key a little bit easier so it's angled kind of more towards you and more toward like on this side like on the top side they're they're also angled towards you they're they're angled towards the middle so that because that's where your hand is going to rest like i said gaming keyboard um for you gamers you, you'll know why um and if you're not a gamer it still makes it easy to type with for most people you know you have your key your hands in the middle anyway uh when you I, th I think that's the proper way to type when you go to type anyhow so it's it does help um i do really like this keyboard um it's uh like i say it's if you don't want the mechanical ones th this is a great alternative uh it does have other controls at the top if you hit your fn key you have your volume up and down. It looks like your home key. You can go to your email. You can mute. Um, there is, it looks like a, let's see what these guys do. 40 second, not exactly sure what those are. There's an 80 second, 40 second, and 60 second. I think that's um, maybe the response time of the keys. Uh, so, anyhow, uh, hopefully you guys find this review informative. Uh, again, this is the keyboard by wink eyes it's the sades blackmail gaming keyboard uh, and really heavy really sturdy um, nice quality keyboard so if you guys like this uh, you know give me a thumbs up on YouTube um, you know like my review on Amazon but hopefully I'll see you guys in the future take care everyone